20 pounds leaner and meaner and well, with the old lady away. Come on, he's a married man. Maybe we should fix him up with somebody. Come on, he's married. You guys, please stay. No, gee, I, uh, I got homework. Yes. Thanks, fellas. I hate those guys. Well, at least we can cross him out as a suspect. Mm-hmm, that's one. <laughs> if you two leave, I will find you and I will shoot you. Try me, bitch. Judy, Judy, Judy. Elliot, what did I tell you? When? Last night, right after you tried to shove the gold chain into my purse. I don't recall. I told you I was establishing a 50-yard perimeter around my person and that we were going to call that the Elliot Free Zone, remember? Judy, do you really think we should be airing out our dirty unmentionables in public? <sighs> I really have to go. <clears throat> Catch you later, Jude. Nice guys. Bruh. I want you to listen to me very carefully. I am not attracted to you. <laughs> Did Anthony Poole leave a message here? To whom? To whom it may concern. Thomas Harrison Prescott III. Your father is a partner at Prescott, Patterson and Rosewell. Your great grandfather was a uh, architect of the state capitol building in 1909, yes? Thank you. It's false. We created it. We made it up. It's a total fabrication. Fork, 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 spoon. That's a long slot. Concentrate, come on, guys. What are you, morons? Start over. Spoon. Spoon. How many knives? Eight. Wrong. Wait. If I'm right, you get the liver. Count the knives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Eight. I have $1,700 saved. It's all I have. I want to give it to you if you'll kill my father. Wait a damn minute. Look, I can bring the money in tomorrow. Hey, Tom, man. We're going to get him. It's that simple. Look, a guy who shoots a cop is the lowest scum of the earth. I want to take this guy down, Captain, and I want to take him down now. Doug? Yeah? The bullet they dug out of Hanson? came from your gun. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. You don't know how sorry I am. Doug, I know you're sorry. You know how I know? You've apologized 430 times. You cleaned my desk. You washed my car. You brought a whoopee cushion. You sharpened all my pencils. Any of them need resharpening? No. No. I like that look. Last year. You know, 
there are some areas on Earth that are more receptive than others to this kind of phenomena, like, like the pyramids or the Bermuda Triangle. Las Vegas, I feel things there. Doug. Harry's dead. No. No. What do you mean, no? He's still in the hospital. Oh, oh he's still no. oh, 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 I needed to talk to Penhall. So you told him he was dead? dead? Better than that, I proved it to the warden. What would you for? want to do a crazy what thing for? like that for? To get him out of jail. What for? What for? So he'd listen to me. <sighs> I see life like a street. You're walking down it, and up ahead of you is a, is a store where you're going to buy something. But between you and that purchase are all the rules coming up to you like some beggar, you know? Hitting you up for all your money. You feel bad for dodging him. But he stands between you and what you want. So you look away when he passes, or you cross the street. Socrates can rest easy. Look, why don't you drive us to a coffee shop? I'll buy you some waffles. I don't want any waffles. All right, then drive us to a florist. I'll buy you some flowers. I don't want any flowers. All right, then drive me to my apartment. I'll let you make love in it. I don't want... They don't pay me enough for this. Hanson looked good in drag. Death in the chapel. <sighs> There's death in the chapel. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that? Oh, yeah, that? Very weird, Captain. This girl, and out of nowhere, looks up and says, There's death in the chapel. What does she mean? I don't know. There is death in the chapel. I think they moved my navel. The Space Brothers probed your belly button? No, not probed. They moved it. It used to be here, and now it's here. Why would they do such a thing? It's a mystery. Ah! Oh, shit. Over here, would you? <laughs> How did you know? I smell the gas. Hey, Dory! Candle in that bag. It's his, isn't it? No, it's my lunch. It's my lunch. What? See that? That's the gastrocnemius muscle attaches to the bone with that tendon right there. <gasps> Roast beef. When's the study lab? Tomorrow. And if Jim and Dusty are our guys, we're as good as out of here. You know, we saw what hardened animal fat looks like in your arteries yesterday. Very scary. Hey, did you know that sugar... Good enough, thank you very much. Tom, I think I gotta sit down. I looked that way once after an especially gnarly chili dog. I don't believe it. Yeah, neither do I. <clears throat> Give them back their money, Yates. Hey, uh, can we help you? Are you talking to me? 
You don't know anybody by the name of Iris? You know Iris. What are you talking about? The zombies are the heavy. Stop quoting that movie, man. When's your birthday? April don't think about it. April 4th, 1968. What's your sign? Why do you want to buy me a drink? Have a nice time, cutie. So tell me about him. How's he look up close? Nobody really has cheekbones like that. H-T-I-O-K-E, Judy Hoffs, Jeremy Woods. Hi. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. I love your movies. Bruh. <laughs> Thanks. Look, I'm sorry I yelled. You guys want to hang around and watch some of the shooting? We'd love to. Yeah, that'd be cool.